My favorite AR tracker change that came with version 23 is where you see down here in this corner, there's a little arrow here that says days to file primary insurance, 112 on this particular one. This is a new feature that allows you to track timely filing on a carrier by carrier basis. So you'll be able to filter out and see, here are all my claims that need to be submitted to the primary insurance carrier, and here's how many days I have to submit it. Once you get to the point where you've uh, exceeded what those uh, days to file are, this will say overdue. Hopefully, if you're using this feature properly, you never get to the point where it says overdue because you're not letting claims go that long. You have a very easy way to track them and see how many claims do I have that are out there that have not been sent to the insurance carrier? That's money that you just leave lying on the table if you don't submit those claims. If you exceed the timely filing period, that's usually a charge that you end up having to write off. And so we're trying to help you avoid that. I'm going to go into the live uh, program and show you how that works now. So what I've got here on the screen here is an AR tracker uh, screen that I've filled out with a specific range of filters. For those of you who have not used this particular feature, there's a whole list of filters here that you can enter. A lot of that can be very, very overwhelming for you to understand what it means. And so if you have any questions about what you can do with this, I would encourage you to talk to Benson, talk to the ASCOMP team. They'll be able to work in to your implementation of Metasoft 23 how to set up some of these reports so that you don't have to figure out how to make all these filters work. But I want, what I want you to see is that I've created filters here for different things. So I've got one that's insurance aging, which has all of my insurance aging there. If I hit apply, it takes me to a screen that shows all of my providers and my insurance aging. If I want to, I can also create a setup report or filter that says insurance without claim. This is where you can really see some of the power of what comes with Metasoft version 23. If I use my report that says insurance without claim and hit apply, you'll see that in this data set that I'm using right here, there are three different patients that have transactions that have not been sent on a claim that should have been. And so if I highlight Dwight again, you'll see down here I've got a 17110 and I have 267 days to file that claim. That means is I should probably file it right now because if I wait 266 days to file the claim, then I'm running the risk that I don't get it submitted. If I skip down to Jay Brimley, you'll see this is one where I missed out on the period. It's overdue. I need to write off this, uh, this charge. That's not necessarily a good place to be. If you're using a report like this the way that you should, you should never get to that point because you have a work list here that lets you go through and submit anything that you need to. If I go down to Tana Simpson, you'll see that there's 47 days to file the, the primary insurance. The way that that's calculated is if you come in here to your insurance carriers and edit Medicare, for example, You'll see down here at the bottom of Medicare, the timely filing days for Medicare is 365. You have the ability to specify that on a carrier by carrier basis. So if Aetna is a year to su submit, or if, if Medicare is a year to submit and Aetna is 90 days, then you can set that up so that Aetna has 90 days, Medicare has a year, and your timely filing calculator and report are going to work the way that they need to. If you set this up, you can then come in on a day-by-day -day basis and see here are, I go into my AR tracking uh, and select that report, insurance without a claim, hit apply. Here's all of my transactions that should be on a claim that are not. Not only do I have the ability to see it from here, but if I want to, I can go into transaction entry and edit that transaction. So if it was rejected for whatever reason, I could come in here and change it, put in modifiers, do what I need to do, and then resubmit the claim. This is an interactive real-time aging report that allows you to go through and very quickly work through things like claims that should be on, uh, or transactions that should be on a claim that are not. It's very good if you only have three that fall into that category. My guess is that if most of you ran this report once you got version 23, you'd see a whole lot more on there. 
and you'd want to make sure that you submitted everything before that gets down to zero. Hey, Thiching. Hope you liked the video and found it helpful. If you did, let us know by giving us a thumbs up by clicking on the like button below. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to write those in the comment section below. And if you want to get more helpful videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks!